Hey folks, Ariel over here with a look at the rest of Foggy's Hatch of Babies. If you're new, welcome. We live a little over 6,300 feet above sea level in the Wyoming mountains. At the moment, as you could tell, it is very cold and snowy and it has been below zero for the majority of the time that Foggy was sitting on these eggs. That's below zero Fahrenheit. And uh, in the last video you saw when the first three had hatched, we now have eight chicks. Um, she started out with a dozen eggs and halfway through I candled them and we had uh, two that just hadn't developed at all. I think they probably got too cold before they started getting sat on because we were just so far below zero that week. So that left her with 10 and eight of them hatched. I checked on the other two after it had been 24 hours and they seemed just totally rotten. Um, I don't know what happened with that. We haven't ever had a, a rotten one before, but they were stinky. Anyway, so she's got eight healthy chicks. I wasn't sure she could hatch any in these temperatures, but she did. Uh, she is an Icelandic hen. These are all purebred Icelandic chickens um, from our flock here. Are they all her, you know, eggs? No, one or maybe two were her eggs. The rest were laid within the same 24 hour period by other hens in our flock. So I don't know which chick came from which mother in our, our flock or which father since we have two roosters, but aren't they adorable? As you can see, she is so good naturally at just showing them what to do, what's, what's good food to eat, uh, how to be good little chicks, and they are very attentive little learners. This is the, the next morning now, so um, they are about 24 hours old, and what you're looking at there is a little bowl of warm oatmeal mash. You just pour boiling water over some oats to make a, a warm mash. It was very easy for the chicks to digest. The other food you've seen in here is mostly intense for her though so she seems to be sharing it with them as well. Icelandic chickens are truly a super cold hardy breed. Um, I believe she does have a teeny bit of frostbite there on the top of her comb. It's also a dull color because when chickens aren't laying, their combs get much duller. But it might have been an injury from when she was first uh, out on potty breaks. Um, the rest of the hens were trying to harass her and several pecked her comb. So that's I've been keeping an eye on that. I think it's healing up, but that is what you're noticing there on the tip of her comb. I think is partially an injury from another hen pecking her, which is why they're all in their little maternity crate here still. It is amazing to me that even at, it was actually five below zero when I first got up this morning and I went out just to be sure they were all okay and snuggled under her. They were out racing around and then diving under mama and then racing around again. They are incredibly tough little birds.
We are very excited to have eight new members of our flock. It'll be interesting to see what colors they all turn out to be as they grow and how many boys and girls we've got, but it's just lots of fun to watch them learn how to be little chickens here. And um, I thought you guys would enjoy watching as well. At this age, they put everything in their mouth, whether it's wood chips or try to peck the plastic sides on the box. Or at one point you can see one actually grabs her waddle and she jerks her head up and <laughs> lifts the chick with it. Uh, Cause I'm sure that hurt a little bit there. They're learning, and they put everything in their mouth like most baby things. So there's a little peek at the first 24 hours or so of life for our newest chicks in our super cold climate. Uh, they seem to be doing well and we want cold hardy birds here. This barn is, she's on an insulated floor and in deep, deep litter bedding, but there is no heat in this barn and that is the way it has been the entire time she brooded these and since they've hatched. That's uh, pretty incredible. We're, we're very proud of Foggy. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.